today's toy spot, we are having a look at the Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutations Mix and Match Leo. With swappable parts, you can make your very own mutation, as indicated down below. Leo looks like he's part Slash, looks like he's part Shredder, he's all action. This comes with us from the folks over at Playmates Toys and is recommended for ages 14 and up. Spin around the back of the package, mix and match. What would you look like if the Turtles had Metal Head's powers, Shredder's armor, uh, Tiger Claw's stripes, and Splinter's quick reaction hand? You can find out with the mix and match and create hundreds of different mutations. Uh, in, as indicated down below, we've got Splinter's leg, Donnie's leg, uh, t uh, Tiger Claw's torso, Shredder's arm, Slash's arm, and Leo's head. And you can come up with your very own mutations. The complete line consists of Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, Splinter, Metalhead, Shredder, Slash, and Tiger Claw. Uh, I have also seen Rocksteady and Bebop as well. So this comes to us again from Playmates Toys, www.playmatestoys.com. Spot's going to take a break, and I'm going to get this opened up. When we come back, we're going to get a better look at Mix and Match Leo from the Mutations line. There's more Henny Way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. With the Mutations Mix and Match Leo, I've kind of just taken the liberty of taking them all apart as opposed to some of the pieces were already on them when we got them out of packaging. But at the very end of it, you get yourself the torso with the sheath on the back there that can hold his katana blades. Now, all the components, the torso itself has five ball joints to it. And with those ball joints, you can do a lot of mixing and matching depending on how you want to create your turtle. One thing I like, though, is that at the end of the day, Playmates give you all the components to essentially build just the straight out turtle. Um, it's not a case where you would have forfeited one of the limbs in favor of, you know, another character. No, at the end of the day, you can still get yourself a fully realized Leonardo. And you can take the katanas, slide them into his sheath. Or you can also, of course, take them out and put them into his hand. Immediately, it might look as if he's the same Leo as we've gotten before. Not to bend his sword. It's the same Leo as we've gotten before, but they are actually just a tad bit shorter than their previous counterparts. The one thing also too with these com particular components is that all the articulation in the elbows and all the articulation in the legs have been removed. Um, with the particular turtles, in fact, it makes sense from the standpoint of taking these guys apart. Um, sure, at the end of the day, if you want to have just straight out Leo, you can do that. But Playmates have released a ton of different Turtles toys that you may not necessarily want to have just straight out Leonardo. But size-wise, though, he does appear like he's a little bit shorter than his original figure counterpart. Uh, but what you can do is take the Katanas out of his hand, just like that. And one of the other reasons why I think the articulation has been removed from the hands, or removed from the arms, removed from the legs, is also, I'm thinking, too, just for the convenience of taking the arm off. With this being one solid piece of plastic, especially from a kid's standpoint, and this is really where this line is geared towards, a kid has to be able to pull this off. And you really don't want to be incorporating other articulations to the legs and the arms, especially like to the legs, because a kid's going to probably be grabbing it right from here and popping the the leg off. And the last thing you want to do is have a you know a, a bend in the knee where they might accidentally break the knee off. So it's a nice sturdy, solid uh, leg. Sure, it doesn't have that articulation in it, but it makes things a lot easier to peg those into place. And though, while he doesn't have the articulation in the legs, where you can actually bend the knees, the ball joints do a very good job of just simply giving a lot of posability to the legs themselves. Uh, they swivel, they move forward and back out. Same thing for the arms. There's no limitations really for it, just be simply because he doesn't have the elbow articulation. You can still do a lot of the movement and everything in the arms themselves. And of course, he has the head movement via the ball joint there, too. Uh, from a standpoint of a turtle, I like it. I just, I, it's a smaller, more simplified version of Leonardo, but I really like it. I, I think, A, these are more obviously geared towards kids. This toy line, you can still always get the more articulated turtles. That's certainly no uh, issue there. 
But I do like the fact that they have a more playable version of the characters that the kids can pick up and play and, of course, mix and match, which is the other thing that we can do here. Uh, he comes with one non-character specific arm, so an, one non-Leo arm, and that is Metalhead's arm here. I don't know from the other sets that we we're going to be looking at whether they all are going to have essentially just one non-character part and then everything else is the main components to, to make the character. But what you can do, Thumbsy's going in, of course. You want to make sure that you switch the right arm out, but it doesn't really matter. Take the arm out and pop Metalhead's arm in there. And then you've got Leo with one of Metalhead's arms. I like that. It doesn't bend. It doesn't. It's just one sculpted piece of plastic. A little articulated arm, nonetheless, is still quite nice. And actually, if you also want to have a little bit of fun too, who's to say that you have to actually peg them into the right places? Sure, this could be a leg for some people, but what you can also do too, because they all really use in the same ball joint, you could take the arm and you could really put the arm down in the leg socket. You could take the leg and put it into the arm socket and you can have a little bit of fun that way too. And for anybody who says, oh, that's not the way a turtle goes. Well, you know what? Imagination can be a beautiful thing as well. Imagination will let you come up with something that looks like this. Yes, yeah, certainly at the end of the day, I really like these pieces. I've picked up a lot of the turtles toys from Playmates and been very impressed with the pieces that they've produced. They've come up with, uh, you know, so many different variations to their turtles toys. They have some with the articulation that we've seen before. They have ones with the battle shells that you can open up and have access to their accessories. And then you have pieces like this, which is a more scaled down version of everybody's favorite turtles. I love the mixing and matching, but really at the end of the day too, you've got yourself a cute little Leonardo and I like that a lot. Uh, today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Playmates Toys mutat Mutations, I should say, Mix and Match Leo. Uh, Playmates also has a, a TMNT page, a play page on their Facebook. So if you guys uh, want to check that out, I'll provide the links certainly down below for those as well. And stay tuned, Spot's going to be having a look at more of the Mutations Mix and Match Turtles as we have a look at the other figures in this line. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time. Yeah.